What's up you guys? Welcome back to Mo Money's channel. You guys already know this is another one of my cooking recipes. And this is a super quick, easy recipe, you guys. So for today's recipe, we are making everyone's all-time fave, especially after a night out. I am making homemade super nachos. Now, you guys already know anything homemade is like 20 times better than buying already from the store or the restaurant. That's just the way it is. And I think super nachos is good. Like if you're going to have maybe a family gathering, maybe you guys are going to watch the game at your house. Also, I am wearing my t-shirt from my Mo Money merch. If you guys are interested, I will put the link in the description box if you guys want to check out my merch. Um, to those of you guys who purchased, thank you guys so much for being able to support your girl. I hope that if you guys are going to make this recipe, you guys follow my ingredients. Please try not to substitute anything just because it's not going to taste the same. So you guys already know how I am about doing everything homemade. So... The only exception I did today was for the chips. You guys have two options. So I kind of have a big family. So I'm using the tortilla chips that they make at the actual grocery store. Tortilla chips are super easy to make at home, you guys. If you guys are not a big family, um, all you need to do is just grab a regular corn tortilla. You grab a stack of them, cut them in triangles, and you deep fry them. If you ain't got time for all of that, then uh, you guys can go to any uh, Mexican a grocery store or meat market um, or any Latino store usually they have tortilla chips that are made in house please do not do not use um, these type of tortilla chips it's just not gonna taste the same it's gonna just not taste the same so don't use and I'm not just talking about this brand I'm talking about just any brand Tostitos um, Tostitos or any brand of these tortilla chips do not use these Please use the ones that are like homemade. So you see how these look These are the type you want to use. Okay for the carne. I am using Carne asada. So just to make things faster you guys I went to my favorite um, Carniceria here where I live. I went to the Larios meat market so I got carne asada, uh, picada, already ready for, you could put it on tacos, whatever you want. So you guys can go into any Mexican um, meat market. And usually they have meat already marinated um, and chopped up for tacos. So you guys could, um, if you guys don't have time to marinate it on your own, then you guys could be fast like me and just go to a Mexican market and buy um, taco meat that's already marinated and chopped up for you. You're going to need aguacates, you are going to need cilantro, you're going to need cebolla, you're going to need sour cream. So for this recipe guys, I'm using two types of cheese. I am using the Mexican um, style four cheese blend. I got the big bag because I love cheese. And I am also using the cotija. I couldn't find the one that's already like um, crumbled up. Um, so I had just had to buy this one. The cotija is, um, you guys could actually use any type of cheese that you guys prefer. You guys could even use queso fresco. Um, but I like to add, I like to have melted cheese on my, um, super nachos. And I'm also going to add the cotija, so. And last but not least, you're going to need frijolitos. These, I just made them, you guys. I'm going to refry them right now. So most of you guys, if you guys have been um, a follower of mine for a while, you guys know I always have an uh, olla or a pot of beans in the fridge. So usually I make like a pot full for the week. Um, you guys already know how strongly I feel about using canned beans. Please do not use canned beans for this recipe. Do not, please do not disrespect my recipe with the canned beans no offense to you guys that eat canned beans it just it changes up the flavor it just doesn't taste the same so if you guys please can use homemade beans 
Once my oil is nice and hot, I'm gonna go ahead and put my meat to cook. Okay guys, so I got my taco meat cooking. This is what it should look like. It does have a little bit of fat in it, but once it's cooked, I'll be taking out all the fat. So now that my oil is hot, I'm going to add a piece of onion. I'm going to add two garlic cloves. This is to make my refried beans. And I am going to add about four chile de arbol. And we're gonna cook that in the oil a little bit. And the oil is actually gonna pick up the flavor of all the ingredients. All right, guys, so now that's nice and toasted. Shit's about to get real. I'm about to throw this in there. Beware if you're a newbie, guys. I'm making refried beans. Don't, don't mind the beans that I dropped right there, guys. Um, so anyways, what I'm doing now is I'm just adding a little bit of the um, water from the beans. Well, not the water, but what would you call this? The broth? I don't know. Anyways, you don't want to you don't want to leave your beans too dry. You want to make sure you add a little bit of um, caldo from the beans. You don't want to add too much though, because you don't want your beans super watery. So I think about that's enough, and we're just gonna let it boil a little bit. Okay, guys. Now that the beans are hot and warmed up, now I'm going to start. I'm going to start smashing them. And if your beans get a little watery, you guys, it's okay. All you need to do is just add more beans without the broth. Alright guys, so the next thing I'm going to work on is my guacamole. So the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to cut this in half. You want to remove the seed. And then I use a spoon to scoop it out. It's just so much easier. And look at how clean it is. We're gonna do the same thing to all our aguacates. And for your guacamole, you're going to use however uh, much guacamole you think you're going to need. I'm starting out with about four. And these are the small avocados. All right, guys, the next thing we're going to do is we're gonna smash the avocados. I'm using a cup, you guys, so we're just going to improvise. And you can use whatever works, but I'm just using a cut for today. I don't have a bean smasher. If not, I would use that. But honestly, it's just so much harder to clean those um, when you're smashing avocados. And I just feel like a cup is way more easier to clean. So I'm going to use one more avocado, you guys. It's going to, this is going to be my fifth one. Now I'm going to start chopping up the tomatoes. This is for the guacamole. And I'm just going to dice it up. This is the only time I would tell you guys not to chop it up super fine. Um, just because if you do, it's going to mush up. And we don't want that for our guacamoles. Okay guys, so here I chopped up half a chile serrano and I also chopped up some onion. I didn't chop up cilantro to throw in my guacamole just because I'm already going to add it on top of my nachos. So I'm going to go ahead and throw this in there. I also, add, I also used one tomato. I didn't use very much. Now I'm going to add some lime. This is going to help preserve the guacamole and it's also going to add it a little it's also going to give it a little more flavor i'm using a whole one just because these lemon these limes are super dry now i'm going to add a little bit of salt and your the salt is to your liking you guys don't feel like you have to put as much salt as i do this is just how much i like to use so mind your business on how much salt i eat and i'm going to add a little bit of black pepper And now we're gonna mix it. All 
Also, what I like to do to help preserve it, I add a seed of the avocado. Um, someone actually had recommended I do this in one of my videos and ever since then I've been actually doing it And I feel like it does make a little bit of a difference. Obviously, it's not gonna be like brand new, but it does make a difference And now our guacamole is ready All right guys, so now the meat is done and then I also have my cilantro and onion chopped up I got my frijolitos and I'm also making a little quick salsa now I'm going to start prepping my nachos. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add our chips. So this is just going to be just for me. So I'm not going to put too much. And you could do a big platter or you can just make some for yourself, whatever you prefer. I also put this aluminum over this cookie sheet. That way the cheese does not get stuck on it. Now I'm going to add my Mexican style cheese. And you guys can add however much cheese you guys want. It's to your liking. I'm putting the cheese more towards the middle just so I have crunchiness on the sides. Okay guys, so this is how much cheese I put. I preheated my oven to 350 and I'm just gonna put them in there just for a few minutes just so that the cheese could melt All right guys, so I just made a little quick salsa. I have about Six little tomatillos and I have about a hand a handful of serranos I added about three garlic cloves and a piece of onion and I also added some of the water that I boiled the tomatillos in and I'm going to get a little bit of chicken bouillon and again, you guys, you add to your liking, all right? And I'm going to add a little bit of pepper. All right, guys, and I just took out my nachos. You literally don't need to walk away from the oven because you only want to leave them in there for about two to three minutes. All right, guys, so now I'm going to get some of my frijolitos, some of my beans right here. And I'm going to start adding it. And you guys could add however much you want. This is just how much I'm adding. And then this is my carne asada. The reason why it's red, you guys, it's because the meat market marinates it with um, oranges. So it makes the meat a little red, but it's so fucking fire. And I'm going to sprinkle it. And I already picked out the fat, you guys. There's no fat in here no more. These are so much better than the store-bought ones, you guys, because you could add as much carne, meat as you want. Because sometimes you'd be buying them and they're hella stingy with the meat, and we ain't got time for all of that. All right, guys, so I actually melted a little more cheese on top just because I love cheese. Now, the next thing we're going to do is now we're going to add our guacamole. And honestly, you guys could spread it out or you guys could just leave it in the middle, whatever you guys prefer. So I'm going to just put mine in the middle so I could, when I'm eating it, I could just work myself in. You know how that goes. Now I'm going to add some of my onion and cilantro. You guys don't have to add this, but I, I like onion and cilantro, so I'm going to add a little bit. Just a little bit. Now I'm going to add cilantro. Now I'm going to add my queso cotija. I already, I already crumbled it up, so all I have to do is sprinkle it. I 
And again, all of this is optional, you guys. You guys can throw whatever you guys want on it. All right, guys, now I'm going to go in with my sour cream. I did mix it with a little bit of milk. It's a trick that my mom taught us, um, just so it's not so thick. And I'm just going to drizzle it. All right, you guys, and this is the finished product. Tell me this does not look fucking bomb. And it's so simple and easy to make, you guys. You would have thought that you bought this at a restaurant. Not to lie, you guys. Look at how fucking fire. I cannot wait to taste it. And I also have my homemade salsita that I'm going to add. Okay, guys, so the last ingredient is my salsa. So I'm just going to drizzle some over here. This is the moment you all have been waiting for. This is for all my freaks. This is for the all-time famous fetish bite, guys. And it's about to get real. All right. I literally sent a picture of this um, plate to like all my friends just because I'm so proud of my work. And even though it's super nachos and it just, it looks super fire. So I don't care what you guys say. <clears throat> Robertitos and Albertitos ain't got shit on me, girl. All right, guys. So I have a piece right here. I'm gonna get a little bit of guacamole. Oh my god, you guys. I need to open up my own restaurant already, you guys, because I get down. Bitches can say what they want about me. They can say whatever they want about me but they can't say i don't get down in the kitchen because yes oh yeah oh my god guys Honestly, I'm not even going to be able to kill this all by myself, but I'm going to try. Fucking fire, you guys. Fire. All right, guys, and that completes today's video. Excuse me if I have any cilantro in my braces right now. I just did my fetish bite. So thank you guys so much for watching. You guys can honestly add anything you want to your super nachos. You, instead of carne asada, you guys could add chicken. Um, you guys can add pork. Um, or you guys don't even have to add meat at all. For those of you guys who are vegetarians. Let me know if you guys add something a little different to your super nachos. Let me know what else you guys want to see me make. Thank you to everyone who supports my channel. Um, I try to make different recipes for you guys. Um, I don't, I don't want to just make this channel and make like, you know, recipes that are kind of like, you know, hard for people to make. I also like making easy ones. If you guys want to check out my Mo Money merch, I will put the link in the description box. Shout out to Batty B Lashes. Um, these lashes are from Batty B. Um, the style is juicy. Use your girl's discount code, which is Mo Money. I'll also put um, the link in the description box. And I'll also add the lippy. I got the lippy from B Bella, but I'll also add um, the link in the description box with my discount code. Don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And thank you guys so much for watching Mo Mini's channel.